I'm Erin, and I'm going to show you a HubSpot programmable email. So a programmable email basically just means you can use that HubSpot data for dynamic content within your email and swap things out based on the contact receiving that email. So just a way to get super personalized in, and it's easier to manage than something like smart content. So if you're doing this a lot, this is definitely the way to go. So in this setup, I have a HubDB table and each row is a different promotion. I'm going to store some of my email content in here. So I have a greeting and the body. And then I'm also telling it what list I want to send that specific content to. So we're going to jump over now to my contact record. So a couple of things here. I'm already associated to one tour, but tours is the custom object that we're going to be promoting in this email. And we're going to be promoting it to our different lists. And I am a member of this summer list. So let's jump over to the module. And you can just select everything from a drop down. So I'm going to select which campaign I want and then just start associating some content to that. So I just wanted to demo that it can be different types. So we could have different sections of the email, different objects associated all within these repeatable drop downs. We can preview by clicking here and then I'm going to set it to my contact record. And now you'll see that I'm part of the summer promotion, which matches my list, this featured tour, which also matches what was in the module. And then one difference that you'll notice is that there's only one other tour, and that's because I'm excluding any tour that I'm already attending. So like I said, you can get super, super personalized. Make sure you're either retargeting or not retargeting your users with specific content that they have interacted with. So kind of the sky's the limit here with programmable emails. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up and happy to answer any of those.